There's no way. There's no way. I'm going on GTL right now. There is absolutely no way that what I read during my video that I uploaded just earlier, earlier this morning, possibly last night even, for the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC, Rockstar has mentioned, I mentioned this very briefly in my hours long worth of video. I said Rockstar was supposedly planning to remove lesser used vehicles. Oh, I have the Monroe still out. Of course, the game still lags because Rockstar doesn't know something called maintenance. At least for invite only, so I'm still able to join online, like, public sessions and it's fine. Okay, let's see. I'm looking at this website, everything's fine. This looks, uh, looks fine the way it is. Benny's. Benny's looks fine. I guess. Elita's travel. Looks... different for some reason, I think, but generally it still might be fine. Legendary, okay, here is the big point. Oh, they added the older vehicles, fine, they added the, the in the game, I had a feeling, I told you, I was wondering if they were going to put it into the game. Okay, well now they're in. The image looks better, or different, somehow. For this vehicle. They had a different color for it, but now it looks smoother. So what is the game like every time I join an invite only for like the first time? The pair is still there! Congratulations! Wait, they said the cyclone was removed. Where's the cyclone? I need to find cyclone. Of all things, I have to find the cyclone. It's 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 the car that is like the fastest. Come on, they have to still keep this. Okay. New weapons are available to purchase. Yay, congratulations. I don't care. I'm looking at my vehicles. That was the baby of the game. I'd say the Proto is still there. That's cool looking, I guess. Maybe. Different though, but still. Is there absolutely no cycling anymore? What happened to the Banshee Topless? Oh wait, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> where's, where's... Turismo, Vision, Vanir, Peria, Autark, Taipan, GB, Tesseract, Tyrant, Saigon, Jester, Classic. Is there really no Cyclone anymore? So now I have to... F now I... Wh what? They removed the Cyclone! But they added the Tundra Panthera back into the game. The Cyclone is a two-door vehicle, though, unless they put it in special. Yeah, I doubt it. I, they, I hope they didn't put in motorcycles. Huh. You know, there are vehicles that were removed. Not that... Mm, oh, my God, though. Why would you do that, Rockstar? Rockstar, why the hell would you do that? Bring the vehicles back into the game, honestly. You screwed you screwed it. You screwed the update. You did this you you had a decently good concept and with this idea that you decide to go forward with ignoring the community requests, possibly saying don't freaking do it, or because we were complaining about how we were trying to scroll down so much and we couldn't find certain vehicles because the list was too long because you didn't really characterize it properly. You don't even have a search bar to type in what the vehicle could be called or even like search like a specific car logo. Instead you have to remove half the vehicles. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look here maybe. Oh my god what the hell is that? Streamer two one six. Is that like a beta name that they decided to go with? I oh there's no there's just, there's no space in between that. That triggers me. I'm sorry. Hey, at least I can buy the Avenger now. No. Oh. Anyways. Uh, the scout is still there. The f stuff is still there, I guess. The person, of course, yeah. The, of course, the person Mark II still has to stay there, even at the look. So I'm glad they kept the look. So, but still, 6.5 mil. The Molotov is on discount. Wow, that's crazy. Um, where's the Hydra? Oh, there it is. It's still three million. Okay, at least it didn't boost that. 
Oh, this is the bad website. Oh, this is what? Huh? The fuck is that? What the fuck is this piece of shit? Hey, at least we have a Walton L35 in this game now. Yay, I totally wanted a truck in this game for 1.6. No, fuck me. Oh. Okay, so they still have most of the tuner vehicles. They still have the epic Dominator GWT. They still have uh, the Tahoma Coupe for some reason, I guess. Um, I guess. Oh, they still have this POS right there. They still have the Hellfire it's LS, uh, GTX still there, epic. But they don't have the Vapid Bullet anymore. They still have. Oh. Oh, they actually removed most vehicles. Oh my god, Rockstar. What kind of- who came up with the idea to remove vehicles from the game? Not only did you take your time to temporarily release vehicles like the Tundra Panthera and then remove it until like the next DLC or something, but now you're removing vehicles from your website. Yay, I totally want to win a post-op van as a prize ride. Yay, oh my gosh, they still have the crew and crew armored. But then you also still have the Glendale. Let's Why would you do this, Rockstar? Why would you do this? This is honestly a failed concept. This is honestly a failed idea. They have to fuck something up in every update they possibly do in this game. They have to they have to literally they have to they have to polish a diamond. They have to take a diamond that's buried somewhere in rocks and dirt and say, let's use this gem. And let's make it better. And what they ended up doing was getting sandpaper, polishing it up to make it look pretty, to make it look pristine, polished up a little bit of the details, washed it, pre-washed it, power wash it, you name it. And then there's that one person in the back of the studio that's like, you know what? What happens if we step on it? And they stepped on it and they fucked the value of it. The update would have possibly been good for me, maybe, for like the first time since K.O. Perico, I guess. Maybe, I think. But they had to fuck it doing this. <laughs> There's no more luxury vehicles anymore! The fuck has a luxury vehicle! <laughs> this is, um, yeah, totally luxurious, guys. Let's go in a bobcat exit. <laughs> Christ. If you think I'm joking, I'm literally in the luxury tab, okay? Luxury tab. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rockstar, you're such a meme. At least bikes are kind of... No, meh, really. They still have the Manches, which is good. They still have the Nightblade, which I never really got, but great, I guess. Special, yay, they still have these things. <sighs> Rockstar. Why would you? Why would you do that? Where is this way, Sandra? Oh, it's up chill yet. Whatever. Rockstar, why would you? Why would you, Rockstar? Do you hear me when I say this? Why would you do that? It's like the Tuner's DLC, actually, yeah, Tuner's DLC was a good concept as well, so I give it that, but that's besides, so who's hey, calling me? This is Charlie Reed. I don't care, I have more worries to worry about. I don't care about you. <sighs> Rockstar. I'm ashamed. I'm seriously ashamed. I just, I... You can now call Ron to ship stuff from grounds, from air and ground. From that I just see, that's great, I guess. Look, a cyclone. And look, the game still lags in invite-only sessions. Why the hell do you do the Rockstar? It's like the game doesn't even know if it's playing GTA Online or playing GTA 5 at this point. Look, epic cyclone. Rockstar, stop lagging the game and maybe I'd be happy. Maybe if you did something called maintenance, I would be happy for once. They seriously had to screw this update by doing that shit. I swear, an invite only lobbies, for some reason, they lag. Because Rockstar made an anti-cheat and it screwed everything.
especially for invite only, to prevent modders from being able to leak themselves into invite only. But now it's like, eh. Oh God, I'm disappointed. They had to. They had. They have to find a way to fucking update. They seriously have to find a way to, to make an update that could be good and fuck it. Like, yeah, we have an update. Now let's mm, fuck it. Jesus Christ, Rockstar. <sighs> I'm I'm disappointed. I did that that is the first thing that disappoints me, and it's literally involves vehicles being removed from purchase. I love seeing a list of oh hey, we have vehicles. Now what if we have vehicles that are on discount? Oh wait, they don't exist on the website anymore. Just to make our life simpler because you guys are making our lives too hard. We don't. We have too many vehicles that we can choose from on the website to put on discount. So let's remove 186 of them, just to make our lives easier. Because we're rockstar and we're not making enough money. You guys aren't paying us enough money to keep up with the demand for the weekly updates. Oh pity, 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 mon fucking tabarnak, you fucking. Dumbasses, I swear to god, they have to find a way to fuck everything. They have to find a way to fuck everything. Screw maintenance, because they're getting underpaid by us wallets of the game, buying their shark cards daily basis. And they have the audacity to remove vehicles because we're making their lives hard by not paying them enough shark card money. Or buying their new gen vehicle stuff for the freaking PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, where we're not buying GTA Online new copy for GTA Online on their new consoles. So you guys will pay for your consequences of not paying us your shark cart money. We know you guys have money, otherwise you would not be living in a house with internet playing GTA Online. You will now pay. And this is of what the hell they do. Oh, you fucking bitch. And I... Alt F4. Enter. Quit. And I seriously cannot play invite-only lobbies. Because that shit lags. Because from some time ago, Rockstar released an anti-cheat. That's... Quote unquote better, even though it only just added a little bit more dust around the doors, assuming modders will not touch dust and be like, ew, dust, I'm not gonna touch that. Now they still go through it, Rockstar, just letting you know. But still, <clears throat> now the anti cheat is screen invite only lobbies. I'm able to join a public lobby, it doesn't lag. I go into an invite only lobby, every five seconds, it just freezes. And Rockstar's only gonna blame me, saying, It's your problem with your computer. But, hey, they're peachy. They're making shit like this, and they're getting away with it. Now they've removed 186 vehicles. What the hell is wrong with you, Rockstar? I don't understand who came up with such a shitty idea. To remove a hundred and eighty-six cars, bikes, planes, war stock vehicles, etc., from your game. Who the fuck came up with the idea? What? Because we're not buying you millions of dollars worth of shark cards on a daily basis, so we have to pay now for you to remove that shit, Rockstar. Maybe I might be happy. If you remove those vehicles because it causes like massive, massive disruption for your online services, and therefore those vehicles have to be removed to save on memory space, to save on hardware pr processes or whatever you want to call it, for you to be like, oh yeah, now the game is running better because we removed 186 vehicles from purchase. They didn't even remove it from the game, they remove it from purchase. Yeah, I totally want to see one day in a prize ride saying participate in any street race series to win a fucking post op van that you use as a cell mission for your motorcycle club business I totally oh, it was my dream to see that yeah it is my dream just to tell Rockstar how shit they are
Why the hell would you do such a stupid thing? They took him up there and they shot that a gun. What style? I'm so ashamed. I'm f I'm ashamed. I seriously I cannot look at. It. I cannot. This I'm. F They're making the game less and less enjoyable just because we're not buying them their shark cards. I bet you anything, it's either that, or we're not buying their new gen GTA Online version that has significantly more stuff in it. You guys are gonna have to pay your consequences, but the new gen console players, they're buying a monthly subscription for GTA Plus. Oh, moya moya moya, we love you players. We love those players on the new gen consoles. For you, we will give you new exclusive benefits and rewards. But for those who remain on old gen, GTA 5 on PC, Xbox One, PS4, etc. You guys will pay because you are not buying our GTA Online on the new gen consoles. You guys will pay. Rockstar, if you're really that greedy for our money, why don't you hack our bank accounts? How about that? Oh, but then you can be lawsuited for hacking people's personal information. So then find a way. Oh, yeah, well, we have GTA Plus and we're going to make, we're going to ruin GTA Online on the old gen places. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're ruining GTA Online on the older gen console and platforms so that we can say, I cannot play GTA Online on this anymore. I can't play GTA on PC. I can't play GTA on PS4. I can't play GTA on an Xbox One. I cannot play GTA Online on those anymore. I bet that is much better on PS5 or Xbox Series X and S. I'm gonna buy GTA on for those consoles. And I'm gonna play there. And then when some people actually do follow that, they go like, Oh my god, it's so much better. And they're gonna get hooked onto it on those consoles. Because Rockstar has massive marketing issues doing shit like this. Now I know this is when Rockstar hits rock fucking bottom. This, 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 this just, this just tops it off. Anything more that Rockstar does, it's just adding more icy sugar to their already ice sugared cake. That has so much icy sugar on it that it's already 0.001% grain and the rest is 99.999% sugar. How garbage their shit is. And that's my opinion. I don't know if you guys will agree with that. But I just cannot. I just cannot. You had to remove the Vapid Ellie. It was another Mustang. You had to remove that vehicle too. You had to remove the Cyclone, which is one of the fastest supercars in the game. You had to remove that too from the website for purchase. You kept the Paria because, of course, that car was pretty epic. Surprised. I don't, I don't know if this video is ever going to end, so I'm just going to stop it now because I'm going to keep on rambling about this for the next week. Because Rockstar fucking sucks at doing shit like this. They really want money so bad that they have to fuck older gen players by doing shit like this. I was so scared and skeptical when I read an article about that just yesterday night saying lesser used vehicles will be removed from websites and they will be reintroduced through in-game awards etc etc. I was skeptical when I saw that but when they actually did something like that oh, I'm mad. I'm, I'm mad. They found a way to fuck their game. And it's not because they're doing it on purpose to screw GT Online completely. They're doing it on purpose just for older gen console players, or platform players rather, to say, buy our new gen GT Online, there's much more stuff you can do there, and we have GTA Plus there! Go there, guys! Go there! Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. I'm so done. Rockstar. Fix your fucking game, and fix your fucking brain, and stop trying to steal our fucking money. Cause I swear to god, that shit you ain't getting away with.